where we have an equal number of moles of potassium iodide, magnesium iodide, um, oh, those two, and they're both dissolved in equal volumes of water. So um, same uh, equal volumes of water. Okay. Uh, which solution has the higher? Oh, these are colligative properties. So uh, colligative properties. Um, props uh, only depend on the number of solute particles, not on the identity, right? Only depend on number of solute particles. And we often describe that as uh, the Van Hoff uh, factor. This is known as... The Van Hoff factor. So uh, for molecular compound, uh, yeah, molecular compounds is Van Hoff factor is one because they don't dissociate into ions. But these, uh, these are both ions. So um, potassium, potassium iodide is, is going to, uh, when dissolved in water, this is soluble, by the way. So not all ionic compounds um, will do this. But that's going to dissolve into a, a cation and then an anion. So this, uh, the Van Hoff factor is going to be um, I is equal to two. Now for um, magnesium iodide, because magnesium has the uh, two valence electrons, you, it needs to pair up with two of these um, halogens, um, with each needing one. Okay, so when this dissolves in water, um, it's going to separate into a magnesium cation, and then it's going to separate into two um, iodide anions. So uh, this is going to have a Van Hoff factor of three. So it's going to separate. This one com this one unit is going to produce three ions, and this one unit is going to produce two ions. That's so. Um, so the colligative properties is a uh, um, boiling point elevation is one of them. So a boiling point elevation, and that's going to be whatever has a higher Van Hoff factor. And so this is going to be magnesium. Iodide. It's going to have the higher boiling point and lower freezing point. Well, this is this question is asking which one has a higher freezing point. You've got to read the question carefully. So, if it's a lower freezing point, it would again be magnesium oxide. But because it's asking for the higher one, right, that means there's less change in the freezing point. Um, you would have to go with the lower uh, Van Hoff factor. So that's going to be potassium iodide. Now, the vapor pressure um, lowering is also a colligative property. So um, again, it's not asking for a, if it asks you for the lower vapor pressure, it would be magnesium oxide, uh, iodide, but um, the, the higher vapor, not the higher, the, uh, well, adding solute never raises the vapor pressure. It will always lower it. So what will lower it less? It's probably what, I, that's the way I should have explained it earlier. All right, same thing with freezing point. Adding a solute doesn't raise the freezing, it lowers it. So which one lowers it less? And so it's going to lower, be lowered less if it uh, dissolves into fewer solute particles, and that's going to be your potassium iodide. All right, and if you want to uh, know why this is the case, go uh, check out the uh, previous video, and um, you'll see why solutions have a lower vapor pressure.